Welcome to day four of Anne's Spring Look number two. The sequel. The sequel. And today we have two new paper collections. They're two very different paper they collections, are. Trailblazer and Roses and Lace. And wait till you see what Anne has done with them. Come, Come play, play with, with us. us. Well, here they are. We told you they were very different looking. <laughs> really? I mean, that trailblazer, like you're going out into the woods, and then roses and lace. We are looking for the roses. I don't know how it works, but anyway, we're going <laughs> to go. Woods. I don't know. <laughs> we'll we're, go with trailblazer we'll first. We'll start with that, this beautiful kind of collection, this. which can absolutely go masculine or feminine, depending yes. on how you use Actually, it. Actually, we'll show you how. Mm -hmm. um, so this, of course, being hot off the press, you're going to see ideas, both scrapbooking and card making, right. not only on the front, but on the back and I'll be showing you those projects. And let's look at the papers. Now these are double-sided. So uh, our first one is just a wonderful collage of things. We have on a wood grain, we have this silhouette oh, the of the trees. Yeah, Isn't just, that beautiful. just beautiful. I agree. And then this great big compass that comes in from the upper left. And you've got this great, like a topography map up at the top yeah. edge. And I then love that. you've got some borders right there. So this is ready for you, absolutely <laughs> ready. And if you are thinking this collection is only for outdoors, stay tuned because yeah. you will be surprised. <laughs> now, I do want to confess right here that we are. Um, in Oregon, Trailblazers are our basketball team. They are. But that's not the only reason why we named this Trailblazer, <laughs> so just to get that straight. Okay, this is the, the you know one of the main focals. Then we have some great supporting characters. So this has, uh, of course, the bright green, as you can see, and you can see how that's right. going to blend beautifully. And it's got kind of a linen. Great, yeah, sort of a scratchy a little bit, yeah. a very used look. Very neat. Then that topography you were right. talking about. And I can turn it right side up. Hmm. And so that's just, it doesn't have a lot of words on it, a couple of canyons, but it's really about the topography. So it's very much the brown. Right, I love and, the line work and the yeah. depth. You've got that those colors behind there. Gorgeous. And a Ooh. wood grain, which is just beautiful. It is. Very rustic looking. Oh, I like the lights and darks in mm -hmm. there. That really adds to a background for sure. Then an all over trees. And you can see again that the trees, I said, I meant leaves. Leaves and yet you've got leaves, but you've also got line art behind right. there. So silhouettes of leaves, shadows of leaves, and in these different colors, yeah. you've got fall colors, spring colors. It's all kind of in there. Beautiful. And our sixth one is this. So it is, again, kind of a texture, but look, you can see some of the herringbone back behind mm -hmm. it. You can also see it getting lighter in the center. Very and Kind distressed. of a canvas mm -hmm. look in the center, Gorgeous. Of burlap maybe. Now that's one side. We'll okay. flip it over and show you more. I love it when you get more than one border sheet in a ah, set. So this is great. You've got two uh, ideas for borders. Two and uses. what's fun about the border is to use this as a sheet, but you can also cut this up and make some absolutely elegant cards as well right. as uh, decorative pieces for your projects. Here we have another. Now this is going into the dark, richer, beautiful papers. This is one of my favorites just because it's got that sort of that ombre. It's from it very does. dark and on this side it's got that lighter gold and then that uh, uh, orange uh, and I just love that. And it also has some of the uh, line art leaves mm -hmm. in it. Just lovely. And then we have a texture on top of this pattern. So very very interesting. So you're going to see it go mm -hmm. lighter and darker as it cascades right. across the The addition page. of that teal to this set is really beautiful. Here is another. I'm going to turn it this way because the uh, kind of hand-drawn herringbone is really gorgeous on this. Just a, a rich, rich collection. Mm -hmm. And then we have, I think I'm going to turn this one this way, some X's <laughs> all over the place, X's and diamonds, you can see. But again, it isn't just on a plain color. It's got right. this gradation behind it, which is just beautiful. It's just beautiful. And what's nice about having these different colors is that you can focus one project on a certain color and right. just sort of stay with that right. theme. Of course, I would love to have a room painted like that. I just think that's beautiful. gorgeous. It looks now, like stone. <laughs> it does. Now we have some ribbons. You can bring we those do. in. 
beautiful ribbon set that matches it. I mean, there's beauty in there, but it's also, you get sort of a masculine bent. And there are 12 ribbons. They are 12 or 36 inches each, with the exception of the twine. There are two different kinds of twine. There's like a natural and a brown, and those are each 72 inches long. So you've got twine with this. It's just sort of a given with an outdoorsy look. You got this nice wide brown uh, web, which is great fun. A wide green crepe, which makes beautiful large bows. We also have some of the not quite so wide um, ribbons, this beautiful blue crepe. There's a green mesh or a grid ribbon. There's a, a thin eighth inch grow grain in this rust color. Another grow grain in a, a dark brown. We've got two different kinds of twill. One is like a nice wide ivory and the other is about a half inch brown. And this great orange and green stitched ribbon. You wanna add some of that blue back in there. There's an eighth inch uh, sheer blue. And I know there's another, the swirl, there we go. <laughs> there you go. This sort of gold and brown swirl. So great combination of ribbons, coordinate nicely. And speaking of coordinating nicely, we have some foil paper toll. Now that's fun. And you can see the three finished pieces that you'll get, but you can also use these individually. Now that giant deer is going to be very striking in this whole set, oh, yeah. as well as life is an adventure. Now you can use this by itself or you can layer the individual pieces on top of mm -hmm. the matching art. And then we have a compass which is beautiful in the foil. And that foil is just striking on those colors. I love that. And speaking of striking, we mm -hmm. have scrapbooking dazzles. Now, these dazzles have two sheets, two different sheets that are eight by nine inches. You can see it's in the brown. And then there is another sheet of the jewel dazzles, this time in the copper. So that's 540 wow. in addition to the other two. <laughs> and you can probably see the artwork a little better here. So 634 pieces, that should take care of you for oh, a sure. moment or two, do and you those think? Are, <laughs> those make beautiful looks when you back them. There are lots of really interesting sentiments on there, for, great for scrapbooking and cards. Well, let's get started. Yes. In fact, um, this is some of the dazzles going right across there, but Anne has had a good time playing with words. <laughs> <laughs> she has, so she's added some computer journaling to some of these outdoorsy phrases to make a great card. This is one of my favorites. When I'm with you, I'm always a happy camper. And the happy camper <laughs> is one of the dazzles, but isn't that fun? That is the cutest thing. And she's backed these dazzles in some different, first this one in a different color, the wood grain, and then overall in green. This one she has computer journaled, but added some of those border dazzles along here. And she made this wood grain piece look like another sign. Oh, right. Just add a couple of strips of um, a cardstock, brown cardstock, and it's just one sign after another. Now as we look at this too, she's got pieces of the paper as right. the sign holders, mm -hmm. and uh, but I do love how the dazzle just goes over them. Right. Very, like a vine just yeah, growing like over vegetation. there. Yeah, vegetation. And here's that border paper that we talked about. There are the leaves down at, used at the bottom of this right. card. And as we back up, you can see just the flash of the copper. Now, this edging is, I believe, the edging of the dazzles. Of the dazzles sheet. She just likes to cut like little eighth inch, or excuse me, 16th inch wide strips <laughs> from the edges of the dazzles. That's really simple to do, and it's a fun way of adding a border on there. So it's going to be this area of the dazzle. You see right. that edge? Well, of course, you have it on all four sides, right. but just cutting that. And that's really easiest to do if you use a metal edged ruler uh -huh. with an X-Acto knife. That's okay. the best way to get a nice, uh, clean cut. So I'm, when I'm with you, I'm always a happy camper. Life is better with you. Now, that is a really unique thing that I kind of like to show you a little bit about how she did that. Okay. The actual dazzle says this, life is better outside. outside. So what Anne did, and here, let me put this over white so that you can see this. She started by backing this dazzle. I'll have it sitting on um, a piece of plastic here so you can see it. Um, she backed parts of the dazzles, this one with wood grain and this little piece with brown. If I look at the back here, you can see that I, I cut out to make sure that it was within the shape of that dazzle and back those areas, but left this part open. Now, before I move on, I want to get that word outside 
off of there. So I've got an uh, X-Acto knife here, or this is a retractable pen knife, and I'm just going to cut, right, I'll make sure where you can oh, see Oh, just where me. it's attached. Just where it's attached, I'm going to cut both sides of that word out of the center part of that dazzle. Now, you can lift that out, or actually, you can, basically, you can leave that there, because I'm going to move the dazzle, but... Except for the cut D. There. Oh, yeah, you have to cut there, <laughs> Three too. Three places. Three places. So now that word outside could be used somewhere else if you want to. Right. And now you've got this opening, and then she took and journaled the words with you onto this paper. The way she did that, by the way, was first she printed it onto cardstock or paper, Just paper, knew where it was, glued down this piece, and then printed again, and then she had that right where she wanted it. And then she can take this dazzle, which she did, and I'm going to, <laughs> <laughs> remove it from, uh, well, after you've got it backed, and I've just got it sitting on the plastic here. I'm hoping I'm not going to. Yeah, that's easy enough. And then you just place that right over those words. Don't stick it down until you've got it centered where you want it. And how's that? Is that centered? No, it's, it's, it's totally just off. crooked. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand yeah. sideways, but <laughs> that's, that's how that's there done. You know. Place it where you want it, and, um, and then let it sit. And it's stuck to my finger. There we go. There. And then you just cut around the edges with scissors, and you've got that dazzle back. And here you go. Life is better with you. So feel free to change things to suit what you're doing. Right. thought it was fun that she put some arrows on her paper mm -hmm. uh, stand. And then again, another just going along the edge there right. and just ending at the it, fold. Right, cut it at the fold. So great beginning. Mm -hmm. Now, this is another one. Now, this is using, of course, the papers, but this is getting into our foil paper toll. Right. And I think very clever <laughs> that she has strung the piece of twine and made a little sign right there. Right, and these are from the Tiny Tags and Labels template. Okay. So she's got each of these little labels and tags cut out separately. That's what that looks like. Right. It's a 12 by 12 template. And these are super useful for making those yeah. tiny little tags, very fun. And then each one of those was done on pattern paper and matted, but first she computer journaled on them. So here's the year up here, and then it says, Happy Retirement, Dear. D-E-E-R. <laughs> Going with the deer. Now, mm -hmm. why couldn't it say happy birthday deer, right. happy anniversary? Sure. Um, it could do anything, but playing off of that deer is just a really smart thing to do. And on the inside, life is an adventure, and then we have the deer and some chevrons. So, so just a yeah. nice look, and I love that it's just one wide strip of mm -hmm. paper going across, but there's so much going on in that paper, so much depth, that it adds a lot of interest just on its own. It gives you a nice place to write your message, sign your name, but just absolutely gorgeous, and that wood grain, once again, is just a beautiful, very useful look. It is. <laughs> I love the ribbons too. The ribbons going underneath and then attaching mm -hmm. on the right. Yeah, that's fun. It looks like it's just being pulled, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Now this is using another of the paper toll. There is that compass. And as we get in just a little bit closer, I want to point out not only is it foil, but there's an etching that's done. So can you see around the north, south, east, and west? It goes outward which right. is a different etching than it's on the uh, piece right here that's blue. Right, so that just, I mean, it's, it's radiating out yes. from the center. It's just such a beautiful look. I love the foil paper toll, and especially on these, it really makes it look like metal. It does, doesn't it? And then you combine it with that kind of matte gold metallic paper for just a really kind of an elegant look <laughs> for these outdoorsy papers. And this is a graduation, very timely. And uh, look at that web ribbon. Right. What a nice other piece of texture that yeah, that adds. That's great. So the paper here is even, it's torn at the bottom mm -hmm. so that you can see that gold peeking out. And then this is done with the layered labels template. It's another. Uh, another way of, of putting labels on there. That and that's, I just there happened to have. And that's been computer journaled on. I love the the uh, little design with the brass dazzle or the, yeah. The jewel dazzles. The jewel right. dazzles up at the top along the top. Isn't that pretty beautiful. just following mm -hmm. that label shape? And then again, this is congratulations on your graduation, but that could be just all sorts of sentiments. It could be. Birthday, wedding, uh, certainly uh, lots sure. of different things. Congratulations on your new home or your <laughs> new journey. Oh, there you go. 
<laughs> and you're I mean, may, may you, you be, be blessed, blessed as you begin life's journey. That's Very just some nice. beautiful journaling. Very beautiful. I love and that. Oh, more of those uh, copper jewel dazzle <laughs> strips there. I think she's used them all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's anything left on the edges of those and jewel dazzle. And this, this comment could certainly be for a wedding. Mm -hmm. um, just lots of different things. Right. Just beautiful. Any journey that you're starting on. Well, mm -hmm. here is now the third of the paper toll. And look what the woman has done. <laughs> she ha Well, number one, she's done a center step card. So it is right. this not only in die cut cards but also now in a template hooray right and, and she's done this gorgeous masking technique on the background to support that beautiful foil paper toll on the front so you're going to show us that i am going to okay. show you that it is ah, oh i dropped something <laughs> except things are flying <laughs> and, I've, and i've got to get it so talk about the card <laughs> okay i'm talking about the card well what she's done is she's okay. used the dazzle as a stencil Mm -hmm. And she's been able to use it repeatedly, so that's right. what. Did you find it now? So I, can I did stop find talking? it. Okay. What, it rolled away. This little art dauber. It's just sort of where you got to keep them captured. Yes, you do. But they work great. <laughs> <laughs> so here's that center step card, and in order to get that all over it, you don't want to do it this way. You want to open it up like that ah, to make idea. sure you get all the way down the length of those panels there. I'm going to sit it down flat, and I'm going to start before I use the. Um, Stencil. Dazzle as a stencil, I'm going to ink this all over. Oh. And you're going to do that. Anne said she liked using the cosmetic sponge for eking all over because it was just going to be a little bit, it's going to be too dark. It, it was just going to be um, a sort of a very quick overall look, and it's easy to do that with a cosmetic sponge. And she made sure that she sort of did it in kind of a sketchy way. You don't want to completely right. cover it. You don't want to douse it with color entirely. And I'm doing it quickly, so I'm leaving little, um, leaving little marks on there. But you can do this by sort of moving it around and not, um, not getting too much color all at once. And that gets an overall look. I, sometimes I like to just sort of go around in circles. And that I also have helps these. Even this out. is oh, the mini blending tool too. that I, mm -hmm. um, I've used this with red, so I won't play with that. But you can bring it in and go like sure. that if you'd like to have something with a handle. So it's nice to have different options yeah. for inking because we do an awful lot of inking um, to get these beautiful backgrounds. So this is what she did. I think she added even more color than that, made it a little bit darker. You really want to see, after, after all, you want to see those colors behind the dazzles. So I'm just going to do that. I know it's very sketchy looking. And this then, was with a fluid chalk ink, I see. Yes, that one was aquamarine. Okay. And now I've got the dazzles. I'm going to peel off one of those leaves, and then I'm going to use it as a stencil. First, I'm going to place it on the back of my hand, not because I want a fake tattoo, but just because. Actually, that's exactly <laughs> what I thought you were doing. <laughs> I want to remove some of the stickiness so it'll be easier to remove. And then I start placing it on the card. And like Anne did, I'm going to sort of go off the edge like that. This is when she used the art dauber. And that's because she said it was rounded. It was easier to get this look without um, leaving those sharp edges. Mm. I'm going to hold that. Let's see, get this placed just right. There we go. <laughs> so put that on your finger. That makes it easy. Pick up some color. Make sure I don't have too much. And then just start going right through and she said she just made sure that she covered up that um, I need a little more uh, co covered up that um, leaf entirely so then when you lift it you'll be able to see the the teal color that's underneath so she'd go through entirely then she would remove it and there you've got oh. that masked image and then you place it somewhere else and you do it again and however many times it takes to get the the look that you want and get the the level of ink color that you want and just a very cool look right very nice very clever mm -hmm. and then she uh, while she has used the leaves for that you can certainly apply them back to the cardstock and right. let that be an element Which she did she said yeah. that's what she did with those so. and this is life is an adventure again now in this case she used all of the layers and putting them together with foam tape. Again, you could do those separately if you wanted to. And then over here, 
This looks to me like some of the material. Will you bring in right. the paper Those tool? Are the, that's the extra artwork okay. from, the, from the foil paper tool. Very so nice. There's extra always, always a, yeah, yeah. something extra to use. Okay, very pretty. Little bit of ribbon. And then on the inside, she has added another label and more of the dazzles and backed a couple of the leaves. So just beautiful. You don't have to back all of your dazzles. Right. Do a few of them strategically and then let the paper just go through the other ones. Yeah, beautiful. so you kind of have a window effect there. Okay, scrapbookers, here we are. This is just a gorgeous layout. Now, Anne didn't do this one, but uh, in fact you did, didn't I, you? I did. Yeah. Yes. And so this is incorporating a lot of things. Number one, let's look at the photo. This is a very significant size. So this is like a six by nine, uh, something yeah, like that. Yeah, something seven like by that. Four something. No, I think it's five by seven, I think. Okay, yeah. cut into three pieces. Each one has been matted and then matted onto the uh, trailblazer paper and then matted again on a, right. a solid. So it's just some strategic right. um, positioning of that photo to make sure you're not ruining it when you cut through <laughs> it. But I just thought that was a neat way to just, that almost tells a story. Just it does. To, to, even though it's one photo, it sort of makes it seem like there's more going on. And actually talking about telling a story, the wild and wonderful, mm -hmm. the um, the dazzles down here, nature, Explore, wilderness. wilderness. And right. then another compass. You've taken a dazzle compass, backed it, and mm -hmm. put it on top of the paper Right, compass. on a couple of different papers. You back that center portion first, and then you back the entire piece on another uh, color of the pattern paper. And yeah, right on top of that compass on the paper, I thought that was a fun look. What's kind of peeking out behind all of these little dazzles is really fun though. It's these little metallic owls. And these are from Memento. And do you have the... Um, um, the nope, you have them. I right have there. them. Okay, here they I have are, them over here. Uh, cut, cut and embossed. Right, and, very, right. very sweet. And so they, and they contain the actual cutting die and then they have a separate embossed plate and there are two sizes of the owl and then three separate embossing plates they're so fun and you did them on the metal sheets right. these are from spellbinders and they are actually very thin metal right. that you simply die cut and right. emboss with your regular machine you just run them through die cut emboss and afterwards I sanded them a little bit and even inked the edges to sort of get a, a rustic look. They're so cute. Really sweet. And then these are also, look on the gallery to find these items. Some of these metal embellishments are wonderful. They just go with it very well. Right. You've got the compass. You've got the word journey, which you paired with nature journey. Mm -hmm. And then explore. Explore. So, and there's a couple of more owls up there just peeking. And they match uh, all of those ju those uh, dazzles perfectly. Right. And I, I love that the long border dazzles just goes across all, all, three. all three of them there. And so. that hint of copper everywhere. And I loved how you tore the papers. I thought that was just very appropriate just for bit. the theme. Right. Very, very nice. <laughs> so now you may think, okay, trailblazer, here we have outdoor. That right. makes sense. <laughs> well, how about a new little adventure <laughs> or adventurer, I guess I would say. And is it, I just think this is brilliant to yep. yeah. go with um, a new little one, life is an adventure. What a perfect comment. Right, and it's and the colors just of the photo, they just match this so perfectly. It was just a real easy pairing for me. I just thought that was beautiful. And I love the foil that it's just sort of sparkles against the ads, just a little bit of glimmer to that beautiful photo. And it was really fun to decorate those dazzles with those copper jewel dazzles. That's quite lovely, just that bit of bling. Mm -hmm. And I, I just love the grace of that leaf. Mm -hmm. We've seen it used several different ways. It's also fun to place the paper towel on top of that wood grain. It makes it look ah, like it's sitting on a plaque. Good idea. A little bit of flourish in the corner, just mm -hmm. a little bit of detail. Okay, that's okay. it for Trailblazer. Roses and lace Roses because and lace. it's demanding equal time. <laughs> and this is quite a contrast to the Trailblazer, but lovely, lovely. Again, you're going to have ideas on the packaging. We're going to show you some of those today and uh, a few of the things that coordinate, but we're also going to show you those today. Right. And so here we go. So roses and lace, what do I need to tell you? Uh, very <laughs> muted colors in the whole palette, but you're also getting lots of design elements. So obviously roses, obviously lace, but text, 
You get tone on tone. You can kind of see a lace in the background. And this has a lace all the way around the edges. So How would you say quite. a vintage look or, a, or yeah. something? A romantic, little, yeah. I think, romantic. is a go. little bit more. Mm -hmm. So we'll back up to see the next. And then we have, then we're going to go in close to see it because it's a little print. <laughs> this, uh, And you can see that it's not just a flat color. And I just appreciate that because it is richer to me. And you mm -hmm. have the small roses, just absolutely beautiful. Oh, Penelope would love this. <laughs> Sorry, a little <laughs> detour would. there. <laughs> and this is an all over print. Again, you can see the lace down below, and you can see the light greens, the dark greens. Mm -hmm. Now we have a gray. Oh, I love that. And um, a lace on the edge. So and another roses. border design, so yeah. highly useful. And then an all over pink. My favorite. All, you like this? Oh, yeah. It's just <laughs> gorgeous. It's an explosion of roses, but it's, it it's just so soft. It's almost subtle, even though there's so many. It's a carpet of roses, <laughs> isn't it? OK, we'll flip them over to see the other side. We're going to add the grays so that you've got that to work with right. them. The light green in that all over, very light lace. Mm -hmm. And then we have a pattern going into mostly the greens and the soft yellows, but adding some touches of the pink. A deeper rose in the lace, where you can really see it there. Mm -hmm. And then a lighter pink in that lace, so you have that. And then an all over with the very soft yellow and the pink. Right. So, so these are really more the coordinating colors right. that match the designs on the other side. And you have lace. Or I, you have ribbons. I have you ribbons. have stuff. I, yeah. <laughs> and they match all of these colors perfectly as per usual. 12 ribbons, 36 inches each. We've got this nice wide kind of a plum colored crepe. Just beautiful. I love the little pink with the cream colored dots on there. We have a silver glimmer for a pop of shine. We have a twill in this really pale green that's just beautiful. We have another crepe. This one is an ivory colored. A sheer with the dots in the pink. We have that unique, there's always something unique in here, that right. unique wired ribbon so you can sort of bend this and shape it. And it's that double loop ribbon, pretty wide, and that's a fun one. We have an eighth inch crepe, a real light pink, a double stitched pink with the ivory stitching. And this is just beautiful. This is very unique to our sets. It is a glitter ribbon. It's about 3 eighths of an inch wide. And it doesn't and rub it, off. It does not come <laughs> off. It's textured. And I believe that I got everything. Oh, I want to make sure I get both of those grow grains, an ivory and a green. And all of these match these colors perfectly. Perfectly. Speaking of matching, we have a paper, paper toll, and you can see the roses, you can see the lace, you can see the window. We'll be seeing some projects using that. Right. And we also have some scrapbooking dazzles. Now, this might be a little bit harder to see, so Lori very nicely did these on black for us so we could show them to you this way. It is the uh, pearl silver with mm -hmm. gold foiling on the edge, and it is quite beautiful. It's striking. That's it is. It is. It's just beautiful. I love the coordinating element with this one too. It's a color that's just very unique for it dazzles. It is, right. So you have all of this in the dazzles. Now let's see some stuff. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we're going to begin with this and you can see the beauty of the paper toll right here right. with some computer, or no, no, sorry, stamping. Stamped in, it's yes. been stamped and embossed and then you're seeing those coordinating dazzles, which I just said, those are border dazzles in this kind right. of a, um, a kind of a peach color almost. And it's just all in these different strips. And she created strips of lots of different kinds of paper from the paper pack to create her own striped paper. So while we're showing this to you first, this is a good uh, technique to use when you have all those bits and pieces right. left that coordinate. Sure. Maybe not enough to Strips do a complete of card. Colors. <laughs> she also noted that the dazzles, the rose dazzles, fit perfectly on top of the paper towel. I didn't know that. She said there are a couple of those images <laughs> that fit just so she just placed them on top of there. Wow. What a beautiful look. Beautiful. And speaking of which, this has been stamped, I'm pretty sure, it's with heartfelt greetings. So right. um, there you go. May, okay. you, may your heart and soul find peace and comfort. So a sympathy card 
doing a little bit more of those strips on the inside, right. the dazzle's really connecting everything. Just and beautiful. Some stamping. You know, this could be any card though. It could. It's a very yes. it's a very joyful card too. I can see, you know, celebration or happy day. <laughs> very pretty. So that's one of the paper toll. Here is another one, and this is the window. And what she has done is to use it as a window peeking into the inside of her Isn't card. Isn't that a neat idea? So she started with that by covering the front of her card with that all over tiny rose pattern. So I've got the front of the card here and I've got one piece of that paper toll, the one with the window. She placed it where it was going to end up when she's all done. So she's got that right there. She traced through the window so that you've oh. got so you know right where that window is going to be. And then, I'm almost done. I'm going to get all four <laughs> of them. I hope it's dark enough that you can see it on that patterned paper. Once she go. was done, then she cut through there with one of those pen knives. I'm not going to do it here, but, I'm, but that's what she cut through there with. Make sure that you open your card and place it down on a cutting mat. And when you do cut it, cut a little bit outside, just not right on the line, but a little bit outside of that so that when you do place that paper toll back over it, you won't see the cut edges of that paper. And then you can back this with acetate or you can put a piece of acetate right over that before you set that in place and you'll be able to see through to the inside of your there car. You There's always something kind of fun about peering through. All and right. she's actually used two of the paper toll. So she's got the window and mm -hmm. she decided to add that border. And you right. can do that or not. This has just for you, but uh, there will also be another piece that will be blank right. so that if you want to change that message, you can. So you can computer can. journal on there, you can right. write or stamp. And what a beautiful look, I always love the crepe. I love it draped across mm -hmm. a corner like that with a nice big bow. And then on the inside she's added more of the dazzles and uh, some stamping to do her message. Right. But left that area blank up there because remember when you're looking through that window anything that you put there will be able to be seen through the right. window. But you could certainly write something over in this area that would be covered up by mm -hmm. the uh, left side of the card. So, so I also look. thought it was clever. This little bit of dazzles up oh, here. Isn't that great? It's like a sort of a sash or whatever. Right. On, on right. The a balance. Balance. Right. Yeah. On top of the curtain. That's very, very pretty. So. Fun. And you can see that all of these are very soft colors, very gentle, very mm -hmm. romantic. Now we're going to add a little bit of bling, so, <laughs> as and, I say that. <laughs> and to do that, she added some of the silver metallic paper. She did. Now, we talked yesterday and showed the gold metallic. This is its counterpart in silver. Mm -hmm. Again, not holographic. This is a paper. Right. And being a paper, it means it's going to be far more flexible. Mm -hmm. It's going to be easier to manipulate. Right. She also added one of our other cutting dies here, the, the is it the fancy frame? Oh, it I can't is. Remember the name of it. it is. <laughs> but it, it has this large cutout here, but it also has all of the scroll work that you see. Here we there go. The, la the layering, the layering frames. frames. So it's got this giant piece, which is quite pronounced. This is a five inch square card, mm -hmm. by the way. So she's got that cut out and she's got these. Now, the interesting thing, and I'll start with these, is what she did to color these because the dazzles ah. don't come this color. Right. And what she did was she started by placing the dazzle on the metallic paper. So you can back it with the metallic paper. And then she colored them with Spectre Noir pens. I've got one from the red set, one from the green set, and I'm gonna choose the large N. And she did not only color the dazzle, she also colored the metallic paper behind it. So she just went through oh. and colored the entire thing. And I thought that was such, <laughs> was such a neat look. I hadn't thought and of And you don't have to be very careful because no. she's going to cut along the dazzle right. edge. So right. You can so you can go over the edge. Smear it I was bit. being careful. I know you were. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> so start by coloring that rose wow. in. And I may have gone over onto the leaves a little. Leaves, I'm not sure. And then color the leaves with the green. Oh, and wow. And you can do that with any color. I mean, I don't know what quite what all of the different colors would look like on there. Maybe you could make a yellow rose. I'm not sure. But I'm sure you could. Isn't that just beautiful? And, and a simple way to change the color of your dazzle. And dashes. look how stunning yeah. that is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think you are getting some of that metallic sheen 
through the spectrum noir, just beautifully mm -hmm. done. And so these swirls were cut out of the metallic paper right. and colored as well. And they're part of the swirls on mm -hmm. this particular set. You get all of those layering elements. Right. So quite lovely. Now the dazzles are of course from the dazzle set. So mm -hmm. at the top and the bottom, mixing that gold and silver quite striking. Mm -hmm. And then on the inside, <laughs> oh, taking two of the, the layering, layering frames, frames overlapping them. Offset them like that, right? Yeah, you can see that great big piece. So using that outside. Mm -hmm. So she, again, she's back to these, nice. these on the metallic paper, but I believe she backed that one. Oh, she backed that one on, oh, on she the paper. just colored Look, the inside right. in green. Oh, just beautiful. Very nice. Just beautiful. Very, very pretty. <laughs> great, great mm -hmm. job. Now, We've had very pastel looking right. things. Here's a little bit of drama. Mm. And this is fun. Anne loves to take things and turn them on their sides. This <laughs> is the oval swing die cut card. There's also a template. And she has taken it. It normally appears as you see it this way. Right. But Anne's turned it on its side and goes like that. It's just beautiful. Isn't that wonderful? And this is using. Um, mm. The, a different paper pattern. Yeah, that's you know what? coming to mind. I don't think this one is Anne's card. It was uh, for a different use, but um, oh, this is Debbie using... Oh, Debbie did it. You're right. The, oh, what is that one? That looks like... Uh, okay, look at the gallery. Look at the gallery. <laughs> <laughs> now we don't know everything. Right. Now you know that for a right. fact. So some different elements okay. combined to create this card, and so, it is just beautiful. But I just thought it was so striking right. to see, and to have that there, and then to open it right. and see the best is yet to come. So. Just, just really a, just stunning. A okay, look. Anne would have thought of that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, she's the very De first one who Debbie, did that. Debbie, but Debbie did that. That's right. But yeah. Debbie beat her to it she on this did. one. So. <laughs> okay, scrapbookers, here we are. We're going to give you a look at some pieces. Now, you can tell that we're doing some of the elements that we did with those large. Uh, labels uh, holding right. on to, but this mm -hmm. time holding the photos, holding part of the photos. You can right. see that the photo wasn't large enough, but still wanted that shape. So, so that was a really unique use to have that yeah. paper at the top with the journaling up there. Also, this is kind of interesting. These shapes were created with the design toolkit. Now, oh. none of the design toolkit pieces are that large, and I don't recall which one was used here. But what she did was took the edge of one of them and traced out the top edge. Then she flipped oh. that piece over and traced the bottom Got edge. You. So she was able to make that size. And she did that on both of these. I think maybe it was design kit number three. Oh, do you? OK. I'm, I'm thinking that's that sounds yeah. more familiar to me. OK. Because uh, I know it has these very ornate edges. That's. I, that's why. I think that sounds right. But she did the same thing here, traced one side, and that's one of the templates, flipped it over, traced the other okay. side, and cut them out. Great idea. I love right. the idea, too, of that going as almost part of the photograph. Right. Um, and I just think it works so well with these two. It does. I love the idea of backing the dazzles with red suede. Boy, that's, that's striking, isn't it? It's a very it? rich look. It just adds a little bit of pop. The red with the pinks. And I don't always think I want to combine that, but it, it, it worked. It really I always well. want to combine red and pink, okay. on the other hand. Okay. However, <laughs> but I agree with you how stunning it is. And that's because the suede is such a super saturated color. Mm -hmm. You can really see it down here. Nice to put a photo uh, underneath the dazzle. Right. And just a beautiful look. So that's one. And actually, you are exactly right with the design toolkit number Yay, three. I got one. So you, <laughs> you, you nailed it, babe. Okay, we're going to do a sweet look as our last uh, page. And uh, wanted to really share this one with you. And I thought it was very clever to have added the oval doily. Doilies. They're so beautiful. They go naturally with this paper. Yes. That's just any that of the look. doilies would, wouldn't Lacy they? Lacy and beautiful. I love that the the long ends of the doily are placed at the top and bottom, and the short ends were cut and used to frame right. the photo. And you can see this is one of the dazzles. You can see this beautiful oval with um, the roses on it. And the on point shoes. Yes. That's just beautiful. We have added, these are from Petaloo. This is the baby's breath and 
also some of the Queen Anne's lace or vice versa and mm -hmm. just adding a bit of texture along with this right. and then also into the flowers. These I think are called the, these are the pink dahlias if I'm not mistaken and these are some of the newer flowers and embellishments that you'll see coming up in uh, our right. new out now actually right. in Paper Wishes. This is the collection again the lights and the uh, medium tones of the pinks right. go perfectly with the uh, roses and lace. They do, they match it perfectly and I love the use of a backing a dazzle with a pattern paper and then placing over the paper toll instead of journaling on it you use the mm -hmm. dazzle as you're journaling. I think this is very oh, clever. That's the hat beautiful. taking right just that piece that decorative element putting a butterfly on it backing mm -hmm. it with paper letting those wings flutter and I just think that's a really nice that's it something to remember beautiful. folks. It is. It, it's just beautiful <laughs> back that way and then having that one border strip of dazzles right there just beautiful. Okay so while we did not take roses and lace and really do anything masculine with it. No. We did take Trailblazer, Trailblazer and, and something very brought it to you for it, so. <laughs> lots of different occasions. Right. But two wonderful paper collections and lots of uses for them. Right. Please join us tomorrow for our grand finale. Okay, day five. See you then.